Hi, my name's Brad. Welcome to my website and thanks for checking this out. I just want to show you uh, the difference between what a lot of people think Microsoft Access is and what we actually do with Microsoft Access. So I uh, hope you enjoy this. It's only a couple of minutes long and um, we'll get right into it. Uh, let's just bring up what most people think of Access. So this is your standard one and I'll just open the table. Now this is just a database that I've developed to record my mileage um, and fuel costs for my motor vehicle. And this is the way that most people look at Access, uh, when, particularly when they first start off. It's just tables. They think of it more like a spreadsheet. They try to use it like a spreadsheet. It has um, usage type, um, vehicle types, various bits and pieces in there. Um, but that's not how we do it. So let's just close that and show you how the same thing looks after we have developed it. Okay. As you can see, straight away, we, we open with forms. So this is not, nobody sees tables, nobody sees the underlying stuff. We have a dedicated menu system specifically for this database. We have fuel records, we have statistics, expense records, expense statistics including graphing, vehicle details. If I had more than one vehicle, I'd be able to alter and grab the other vehicle here and all of that vehicle's records would immediately show. I can double click a record to edit it, brings it up, I could delete it if I wanted to, I could make any changes that needed to be done. And if you have a secure environment, that can be protected. So that, that double click may allow them to see more data, but it doesn't allow them to edit the data. So we can protect it in, on any level. We have the ability to filter it, so we'll just filter it down, remove the filter again. And let's just add an item in. So we're just going to add in a recent uh, fuel purchase that I made. And the numbers uh, for the fuel cost was $72.69 and it was 39.31 litres and the Odo at the time was 133.901 it was town and city, I could select mixed or open roads but town and city and we'll just save that just refresh it and as you can see it's immediately entered it in and that's the new line there and it's already calculated the, dollar, the litres per 100k if you prefer to see miles per gallon, we just click this and suddenly we have miles per gallon or kilometres per litre or back to litres per 100k. We have a couple of outputs. Fuel expenses, transactions only. Let's just preview that. Or transactions. And as you can see, fuel usage report. We have graphics in the report. Um, we have totals, we have percentages, um, and just moving on to the next page. And we have summary for all types. Okay. We also have an output in here for expenses. Not that I've got many entered in there. It's not that the car hasn't cost me anything, it's just that I haven't um, put many in. go um, and this here has the graphics in use as well okay nice and easy nice and simple and just for the record the drop down these could be buttons they could be menu items um, anything that we wanted them to be um, in fact I think I have uh, report selection is there there you go um, but we uh, I'm just showing you what we can run off a combo box that's about it um, thank you very much for um, having a look and remember if you need to bold tech solutions www.bold.co.nz give us a call and talk to us about how we can help you with your data to make it more workable more manageable and more user friendly thank you very much